Hi everyone, this is Johnny O'Nose, and in this Let's Learn video, I'm going to teach you how to install the LSPD FR mod to Grand Theft Auto 5. Now, I'm going to call it the mod from here on out. The LSPD FR mod allows you to play a police officer in GTA. Now, uh, it's pretty simple to, uh, you know, get the base of the of the mod down, but uh, there are a couple things that I wanted to show you guys. Uh, to help you with troubleshooting any issues or understanding which mods you can install when and all that good stuff. So first off, you want to go to these two sites, the Rage plugin hook as well as the lcdfr.com site. Now you want to pick up both of these, both of the uh, the base mod as well as the plugin hook. So to install, uh, to download the plugin hook, you just go to downloads. And then you click on this button here and it'll bring you to a download page which will allow you to download it just like that on the lcpdfr.com site you have to go to mods downloads and then click on the lspdfr right here and then uh, you click on the link here and then you want to click on this teal colored download this file don't don't hit any of these naughty naughty ads that are here all right so you've got both of the files I made myself a little uh, Grand Theft Auto shortcut here let's put this on the right side and I also made a little shortcut to my a bunch of files that I've downloaded to play this game so as you can see here we've got the LSPDFR 3.1 as well as the rage hook right here. Now the order that you want to install these is you want to go with LSPD FR first because the reason for that is there is a rage plugin hook already added to this but you want to you want to make sure that you're using the very 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 latest rage hook when you're installing this. So all you have to do is Control A everything in this folder and then copy it over to your Grand Theft Auto 5. And uh, you do the same with the Rage Hook. It is that. Now you're going to get a prompt that asks you if you want to merge this folder. Go ahead and just hit yes. Do this for all current items and hit yes. And this is the important part. Uh, this is why we went with the LS, LSPD FR first so that we have all the latest stuff for the Rage plugin hook. So what this does now is it adds two very important folders to your Grand Theft Auto installation. First one is plugins, which will house all of the plugins that you're going to be adding to the game. The other one is the LSPDFR folder, which has most of the folders that are, have to do with different callouts that the dispatch will call you on. So you can see all the information here. So the next thing you want to do is you want to then uh, run this executable here, Rage Plugin Hook. Now I made myself a little shortcut for that too. So it will come up with this console and it will ask you to un unlock a bunch of DLLs that are found within the uh, file structure here. So hit yes. Then you wait. It gives you this little disclaimer. And just click the button once the uh, timer's done. Well, of course, read all this and understand it and accept it. Get this cool little animation. And we'll then check your machine to make sure that you have all the required components. And uh, I would suggest creating a backup. This is extremely important. Um, I'll explain a little bit of it later, but you really want to make a backup of both uh, your GTA 5 as well as your configuration in case a new version of Grand Theft Auto 5 comes out and then invalidates everything you just did. That way you can wait until all of your plugins have been updated enough so that you can then pull them all in and do this all over again with the new version of GTA. So in the general tab, you just um, you just go ahead and skip that. Go to plugins, and then load these plugins on startup, and make sure to hit LSPD first response. And this is also where you can back up your version again and uh, and revert it. So if GTA updates and it breaks everything, you can easily just go to revert game version, 
as well as back up the game version. All right. So we're going to hit save and launch. And uh, make sure to uh, hit yes to all the network requirements that it's asking for. All right, now that the game is all loaded up, hit F4 to pull up the console, and then type in go to PD. This will teleport you right to the police station. Hit F4 again to close the console, and then run on inside and head over to the locker rooms. Get to the back right of it, and then hit E to go on duty. This is where you'll be able to configure your police officer. You have different shirts and accessories and all that good stuff. Once you're done, click select and exit. And now you're ready to go out and uh, do police stuff. This is just the base version of the mod, as well as the, as the plugin hook. But the real magic is in all the different plugins and mods that people are creating on the LCPDFR site. So let's go ahead and show you what the, uh, the benefits and dangers are for adding additional mods. Alright, so we're back in the uh, GTA folder. And I just want to call out two folders that were added to it. The first one is the LSPDFR folder, which has most of the information regarding all the additional callouts that you'll be adding. Now a callout in the game is... Uh, like a mission or a quest or whatever you want to call it that dispatch will give you to be able to uh, to, to resolve in whatever way you feel uh, you need to. The second one is the the second folder is the plugins folder. Now this is where most of the mods will add their INI files and their DLL files. They'll also add another LSPDFR folder in here. So don't get confused by the fact that there are two folders called LSPDFR here. So there's one at the top level and one within plugins. The other thing you need to notice uh, when adding mods is that there are some common DLLs that they tend to use. Now, if you're picking up some of the plugins by Albo1125, who is friggin' awesome, he makes all sorts of plugins that are just, just amazing, amazing additions to the gameplay, you'll notice that he has a DLL file he uses in it. Now, I noticed when I was picking up all these mods that he has two of them. So you want to make sure you're using the latest and greatest version of it. Another, another file uh, the different modders tend to use is this Rage Native UI file as well. So I found two of them. One was 6.10 and one was 7.5. So you want to make sure that you're using the latest of these common files. So let me just give you an example. So here's a REST Manager by um, Albo. And in here, there's an Albo 1125 common DLL that was modified on the 10th. I go into another one of his mods. Let's see, uh, the police Traffic Policer. You'll see that there's a common DLL that was that was updated on the 30th. So you got to be cognizant of these common files so that when you start putting these mods in, that you're not overwriting these common files with um, earlier versions of it. You really got to pick the latest version. So let's go ahead and start adding some mods, and I'll talk about the structure of how uh, these modders put together their packages here. So some modders will give you just the two file, two folders, like I talked about earlier, LSPDFR as well as plugins. Other modders will give you the whole directory, so they'll start with Grand Theft Auto 5 here. All you need to know is that these, these files here need to go into the Grand Theft Auto 5 folder here. Now, if you can't eyeball it, the best thing to do is read the documentation. And in there, there'll be some information regarding the installation of it. Let's just add a couple, and I'll, I'll show you what I mean. So let's let's do uh, Aldo's Albo's um, mods. So we're going to go into the Grand Theft Auto 5 folder, and then copy everything here, and just throw it into our folder here. Make sure to merge all folders that it asks. And then let's head on to another Albo mod. Let's do the Traffic Policer. Go to Grand Theft Auto 5. Copy and paste. And here you'll ask to be merged again. You say yes. And here is where those common files come into play. 
you need to pick the one that is the latest version, so 630. And then here you're also taking a look at this RAGE native UI file as well. So really be sure to pick the latest version. We're lucky here that it's only that they're both 610, but there's another mod that uses it as well. So that's how you add a couple mods to it. So I'm going to go ahead and restart the game and then uh, we'll circle back. All right, so we're back in the police station. We're going to go on duty. And I'll just uh, hit select and exit. And what will happen is your all those mods that you've added will start to load up at this point. So you may get a little bit of delay, a little bit of stutteriness. And then on the bottom left, it will tell you it they've been loaded. So the traffic policer as well as assorted callouts have been loaded up successfully. So there we go. So just keep in mind uh, when you're installing mods to look for any any common files. The ones that I saw the most were, um, you know, if a single developer is making a lot of different mods, he has his own DLL that he likes to use to um, to configure a lot of the mods that he's making, as well as the Rage UI DLL is also important. So just keep an eye out for any files that are common between the mods, and uh, just be careful about what you add. And if you are adding mods that have common files, be sure to click on the one that says uh, that's the latest. Okay, that's it for me. This is Johnny O'Nose. Oh, solicitation. Nice. Alright, so I'm going to go do that mission, and uh, I'll catch up with you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any additional questions about this mod or any other games that I make videos for, please leave it in the comments. <laughs> Thanks so much. Talk to you guys later.